Hey guys, it's a couple of weeks since we looked into the engine. I cleaned it up a bit and this time we will take it apart. I think we start with removing the pump, muffler intake and take off the head. Let's remove the tensioner and the belt. <coughs> now I can remove the belt. So I just loosened the nut on here, now we can remove the pulley. There it goes. Look out for the so now we remove all the screws three here and one over there I like always to take out the back screw first before I loosen the front ones because I don't have to mess with the holding the pump with my other hand so this is the back screw Two from this side and one from down there. There she goes. This is the back bracket. So now just remove the this cable. It should have a clip over here that holds the cable in the bushing. But someone was lazy or lost it. There it is.
does not look too bad. So far. Looky, looky. I don't see anything in it. Focus. Sorry, it's a bit dark down in here. So let me tell you what we're gonna do. So next up, we remove those few screws from the muffler. Then the brackets over there. And over there. These ones. Really coming to an end. That the it's pretty tight down here. We might have to take down the take off the air filter box, or we try it without any. And we will see. Let's unplug this this plug over here. That too, we don't need those. So next up are those screws for the muffler. So screws are out. Let's take this. Mm. Crusty, crusty. One of the mounts is already broken. <coughs> so now there's not much oil in there. So I think we should remove some water hoses. This of course the back one over there and maybe one down there just to get the water level pretty low so I have a bucket underneath There she goes. Most of it's going in the bucket. Let's undo these. So 
just to get more room, I remove this. Over here. Don't need that. Now. Let's tuck it under here somewhere. Doesn't want to. Okay. So let's remove the couple leads over here. This one we don't need. Come on, stay, stay there. Over there. That should be an 8 millimeter. The wire for the glow plugs. So this is the complete engine wiring harness. Water temperature, two oil temperatures, glow plug, and one for the injection pump. That hose wants to fight me. Okay. There she is. <clears throat> so now. We can remove the valve cover. Oh, and there's a back one too. Just like that. There it goes. So there should be 10 of those 12 point socket yeah i know you shouldn't loosen screws with a torque wrench but that's what i have So please make your bets now what went wrong with this engine. So let's get to the workbench and we take a look at the head and after that I clean this up in this whole mess and we check out how everything looks 
and what the issue was. So this is how the head looks. There was already some repairs made. Someone welded it up and maybe changed, changed the valves. There are some numbers stamped to it, actually two. There's also a two stamped on it and a three over stamped. So let's clean it up and we will see how it looks underneath. So we just finished cleaning it up with a soft wire brush. This valve has a pretty big play, this also, and the number 3 cylinder has a previous damage probably that got welded up. But I don't see really anything wrong with it other than the play in the valves. So I think um, we should go out and take the sump off and maybe pull a piston and see how the rings look. Yeah, let's do that. Cylinder 1 has a pretty big slap to it. So cylinder number four. So there you can see the damage to the cylinder number three. Probably a, a valve or something. Looks pretty pretty nasty. So the walls have a step to them, so not sure if it is worth saving or what to do with it. Tell me your thoughts in the comments down below if we should rebuild, rebuild this one or get a different one or an upgrade maybe to a 1.9 liter. I'm not really sure. As I said, this is the 1.6 without turbo. So it's might might worth up upgrading it to another one. The last step is to remove all the bolts all the way around, which I'm not gonna bother filming. It's just undoing a couple of bolts and this big screw here and that one over there and we might take a look what's underneath. So I just took off the sump. It didn't look too terrible inside. The pickup is clean too. So let's get the oil pump out of the way and maybe pop the piston from cylinder number one and we will take a look. Oh and another thing that I found is this is the wheel for the for the shaft that goes to the to the oil pump and the vacuum pump. And it's pretty, as you can hear, it's pretty worn out on both sides. So it has some has some kilometers to it. So let's go from there.
So, let's get out the piston. Pop the ring off and put it in the bore to see how uh, it's pretty worn down. So let's check a gap on it. So I just put the ring in. Can you see the gap? Yeah, it's pretty nasty. Also, the upper part of the bearing, so it's just worn down. But it's still the original one from '83. Yeah, the car is '84, so. Probably the original one still, but uh, the ring gap is too big. So I say, uh, hmm, pretty much we are done here for now. I probably will borrow or buy an engine hoist and take this puppy out, and after that. We will decide how to go about this. If we should rebuild it or get another one, maybe a 1.9 or one with turbo or build this up. I don't know yet. But leave your thoughts in the comments below, below and uh, we will see what we can do. So thanks for watching and see you next time.